Okay, in this video we're going to now look at a different type of DC circuit in the LET exam, what they do. Um, here we've supplied with a resistor of 20 watts, 20 ohms, 100 volts, 1000 watts, and B with 5 amps flowing through. So we have 10 amps in total going through to this point here, and then it splits. We have 1000 watts. So thing we've been asked to find is find the total current flowing through A, the voltage supply across here, which is our voltage supply, and our total power, which is well, the total power of the circuit. So, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is find the current is find the current flowing through these two first. So if I go current total minus current for B, which is this one here, five amps. So I'm going to go ten amps minus five amps, which equals I A and C, which equals five amps. So now we have five amps flowing through here. All right. The next thing I need to do is find out the voltage supply. So voltage supply will equal, we've got A, C, and D. A, C is already equal to 100 volts. A is equal to 20 ohms times 5 amps, which equals 100 volts. And D, now normally when we talk about power, we have P equals V times I. If I want to transpose that, right, normally we go, um, say if I want to find voltage, voltage equals, and what's the opposite of times is divide, so we go, P divided by I, and then it'll give the voltage, but we don't want that one. We actually want I. We actually want, um, sorry, voltage. The other one we got is V over, uh, sorry, P over V. So we're going to do this one, sorry. So this one, we go to 1000 watts divided by 10 amps, and we get 100 volts. So, voltage supply equals 100 plus 100 plus 100 equals 300 volts. All right. Now that's one. So that's one. That's two. And number three, power total equals um, I times R. Sorry, I times V. All right. Um, power total, v, uh, v times I, I times V, which equals um, 10 amps times um, 300 volts, which equals 3,000 watts. And that's our answer for all three of those. So there's a different way of looking at it. When we normally do circuits, we normally do resistance total current and then go through and find different things but this is just a different way how you look at it so at the end of the day we ended up with 100 volts across here we already had 100 volts and here we had another 100 volts add that together gives you um 200 sorry 300 watts 300 volts if i had to find the resistance of this this is another one we can do resistance of this one we would have gone so we've got five amps going through it, 200 volts across it. So five times R equals V on I, sorry. So V over I, which equals 200 volts, divided by five amps. And that will give us our resistance, which is 40 ohms. So there's all different ways of doing things. But like I said, it's all numbers and formulas. All you gotta do is apply them the right way.
Okay.